Welcome back, Tapters here with another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Randomizer. Here we are in the void with the mini Grogu, about to select our next lot of parties. Now I think we'll go with uh, Yugi over here, because I know that in his route we'll pick up at least one or two other characters. So what's all we've got in here? This is definitely not a normal one. Alright, so we've got someone here. That must be Shadow, I think. Yugi, on a journey, I got separated from my friends. Say, could you tell me how to get to Nash? The Empire has set up a base somewhere beyond the forest and to the east. Empire? They seem to have their sights set on Doma Castle. Doma, huh? Hmm. I have to reach Nash immediately. Your only chance is through Doma. I'll show you the way. Oh, goody. Just know that I may take off at any time if I feel like it. Alright, so this is indeed Shadow. Uh, he owes allegiance to no one and will do anything for money. He comes and goes like the wind and his name is going to be Edward. Oh hey, that's um... Crap, I forgot his name. Dude from Xenoblade. Ah, uh, not Link. The other blonde dude. Damn it, I really like Xenoblade Chronicles. Alright, Edward. Except he's got green hair. Alright, welcome to partner, yes. The Reaper is always just a step behind me. Alright, so he's absolute edge lord. What have you got equipped? Uh, Kotetsu, which I have duplicates. Buckler, leather armor. Uh, leather hat, and nothing else. Alright, skills. You've got some magic. Okay, so you've got uh, Rasp, which is Osmos, Berserk, Shell. Interesting there. That's not too bad of a setup though. And what was it? Switch between characters? Oh, I have to go into the manually. But I'll keep with the uh, bug. H Man. Hey! You're the clockmaker? I've been waiting for ages. Uh, no, not the clockmaker. I'm an antlion. There it is, on the wall. Ain't been ticking for one, five, shucks, maybe even ten years. Okay. Where's the clock? There isn't even a clock on the wall. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think he's a crazy guy. Oh, you're an item seller, aren't you? Alright, what's what, what have we got? See the goods, what have you got? Dirks, that's no good for anyone. Shurikens, I'll probably pack up, we can use that. Uh, iron armor is an upgrade, it's not also too expensive either. Let's get a couple of those. Ninja gear, hey, he can actually use it. Uh, and tonics, I should have enough tonics. Alright, let's go equip those armors. Uh, ninja gear and iron armor. Even though that dude bolts, he will come back immediately. Immediately in an encounter. All right, let's. Um, oh right, damn it! Didn't mean to do that. Okay, you can use tools. Nice. That's actually kind of good. And you've got your magic. All right, cool. Uh, did not mean to use the morph command there. I was thinking it was um, the morph the enemy one. That's right, eye drop. So if we head, I guess, down southeast, sand rays and Araneids. So auto crossbow is going to be good. It'll hit everyone. Oh, that's good. I mean, the, the sprite doesn't really look like the guy from Xenoblade. I'm still blanking on the damn dude's name. Ma it's not Marth. Like, I, the thing is, I even like maimed him back in Smash because he was cool. Oh good, we've still got Shadow who will block some damage. This music, the Chrono Cross music is just too chill. So we head down here, we should make our way to Dorma. Uh, for memory, I don't think we pick up Gao until later, until the Velt. But that should be towards the end of this guy's route, end of Yugi's route. 
So we'll go to Dorma, we'll pick up whoever Cyan is going to be. And I'm going to assume he's going to have a green colour palette as well. So I don't know if the characters can have... Like, oh, if we've managed to get the encounter one tile before the actual uh, area. So I don't know if the um, colour palettes of the sprites can be randomised. I feel like it must pick a theme and just go with it, given that everyone's gone with the greenish colour. A whole bunch of leather hats, more GP. I've got a good amount of GP now. Alright. So now actually into the Imperial camp area and immediately accidentally go out. Right, back in. So don't hold up. <laughs> Basically. Oh! So we have a crystal and this is Ranma. I guess that's Cyan. He's a crystal. He is a crystal. Okay. <laughs> ah, well. And he can equip a flail. Anything else? Nope. Uh, any skills? Oh, you do have laws. Okay. And you have a few of them. They are expensive. One slight issue is... I don't notice him having any MP stat. So... We'll shall see. Uh, if you can even use the laws. Alright, GP, okay. Oh no, he does have MP, it just wasn't showing. Oh, okay, okay. He can heal himself. Uh, I don't want to use G... I don't think I want to use GP Rain. So let's see how our crystal goes. So it does change weirdly uh, when he's ready an attack. I guess it's a crystal monster. <laughs> okay, this dude's not doing too much damage, which is good. It is so cute, the little animations on that crystal, though. I, they did a really good job with animating inanimate objects. <laughs> it's just as sheer as well, sparkling. I, it's just... I don't know, I just find it really cute. Okay, so now we're actually here. Oh, hey, Doggo! Um, now there's a treasure chest back here? Yes. Oh, top won't open. Okay, we need to... I think we need to hit it. Ouch. Okay. One of the roots gets you the item. <laughs> okay, there's meowing in the back there. Okay, uh, we've got a sleeping bag. Okay, that was not really worth it. What else we got? We got some, uh... Oh, yep, that was a encounter. I mean, cutscene skip there. What is this? Oh, is this? This is Kefka. Kefka is extremely butch and muscly now. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, definitely Kefka. Uh, well, I mean, I know he's um, shirtless in the final cut, the final boss form, but he's already gone shirtless, I guess. Wait, he says, do I look like a waiter? Yes, he has the bad puns, as usual. Alright, ignore you. And find all the treasure chests. There should be another one here, no? Oh, I thought there was. Okay, I get to attack you. And then I think go up here. Nope. Uh, maybe here? Nope. Or I can sneak around here. Yes. Magus hat and a monster in a box. Now this is a sort of very tough enemy for this point in the game, normally. The Telestar. Alright, um... Are you blind, everyone? You love me sort. Yeah, we'll just fight you. And we'll just use the health. Give ourselves a little bit of a top-up. Interesting that um, the party composition shifted around. If I do start missing, I'll just switch to using the auto crossbow, which should be guaranteed accuracy. 
Bioblast, it's a mecha enemy, so Bioblaster should not in any way affect this thing. Alright, switch to auto crossbow. Oh, nuts. Oh, hey, auto crossbow, and there's now multi targets. Guaranteed hit, insta wiped out those guys. Normally, you wouldn't have Edward uh, who has that ability. Oh, hey, Shilla. Cool. Oops, forgot to use that. Never mind, he hits anyway. Normally, you wouldn't have access to the crossbow tools for this section, which I guess it does make it a little bit easier. Oh, okay, please survive. Good. Nice. That uh, free health is lovely. There you go. Missile. Attack from memory. This thing has like one or two thousand HP. Which for this point in the game is pretty substantial. Especially when the two dudes you have normally um, don't really have any magic and can't do much in the way of healing. Uh, I forgot as the alarm and we're going to get some ads. That uh, just translates to a bit of extra XP. Alright, auto crossbow, the lot of you. Man, they really do not like Yugi. Oh, you can counter. And you can counter upon death. Okay. Good to know. Some shurikens, a beret. Nice. Now, is there a root? There it is. What have we got? Monster in a box. Oh, it's another one of those things. Well, the last one wasn't too bad. Oh, this is different. Ow. And there is Auto Reflect. Lovely. And of course it reflects. Oh, but it's, um, uh, that's okay. It happens to damage him. Let's just, uh, reflect uh, that then. So I guess these guys have an equipment that does auto reflect or something. And there is the bug dead. I do have some Phoenix down, so I'll just lob a Phoenix down. I no longer have the reflect. Ow! I should have some Phoenix down there, too. Okay, that's not so great. Now, please don't immediately go into uh, reflect status, good. Or immediately kill. Okay, please get that heal off before I get killed. Good. That's good. It's Everyone should be healed up nicely now. I'll still do another one, though. Oh, good, and the um, HP's been reset. There we go. Just don't put us into the low crit HP and reflect again. So I don't think Bioblast is going to do much, given that this guy is undead. Okay, can fight. Nice. Just going with the auto accuracy for the uh, guaranteed hit for the auto crossbow. Uh, okay, cool. Lightning missed. They must have fairly low accuracy. Good, and then I can get another attack in with everyone. Lightning, uh, okay. That was intercepted by Interceptor. Honestly didn't think that would uh, be caught. Hyper Wrist, ooh, that's probably good. Let's put it on the one who's gonna stay in our party for longer. Good amount of vigor and 24 magic block. I'll take uh, that. So it should be all the items. Now we go say hi to Kefka again. Uh, auto crossbow you. Youch. Okay, so he must be scripted for one hit only. Kefka, wait. And he was going to repeat the waiter line. Could they not have had at least some variation in that dialogue? And this should be the last one, and we've got some ads. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, hey, uh, and we have a very convenient hit everyone attack. Ow. This should make this fight rather easy. Although these things are going to be decently tanky. That's okay. The first ones are dead. Easy. So good. Having abilities where you're not supposed to have them in the game. Lots of shurikens and no one to throw them. Now we should be back to our crystal. Yes. <laughs> oh, to the king on the double. Yes. Uh, there's no uh, items to be uh, to collected from here yet. Uh, okay, Ramna, Highness. Uh, I'm gonna assume he's dead. That's a weird sprite. I, I, and I feel like this guy's been named after Ramna one half. Oh, hey, Kefka's poisoned the water. So maybe this is the exit? Ah, yes, Sir Ramna. We're through. Okay. Oh, found the trigger. Empty room with a cutscene. Okay, everyone should be good there. Oh, okay, that's, um, <laughs> that's our crystal friend in his terrifying eldritch formation. Fight some grunts. Now, I believe he, uh, acts independently in this fight. He just berserks. So we're not actually going to get any, um, controllable commands out of him. And notice he's is in the party, but he is um, a little bit of out of alignment there. And he doesn't do the victory pose either. Oh, eye drops. Hey, I'll use one of those. Um, eye drop. I forgot I had some. Alright. Eye drops fixed up. Talk to him and go do these. I uh, don't need to health. They didn't do any damage. And we'll just want a crossbow. Ramna's just going to uh, destroy them. Easy. This will continue for a couple of fights. He's uh, taking out the, the Hojo clones. Just auto crossbow and get them both in the one shot. Let's go. Okay, that one was a little bit more sturdy than the others. Oh, and now we're in a mecha suit! <laughs> we have a bug in a mech! Magic tech armors. Okay, we've got these attacks. Alright, well, um, I guess it's the same one from the Terrified. Oh, I can still use magic. Cool. And we'll just use the same. Oh, well, it's dead anyway. Heavy shield. Okay, cool. I think that's going to be an upgrade. Um, guess I continue heading out this way. Okay, onwards. <sighs> Random encounters. Oh, I feel like these ones actually might be scripted. And I'm just not seeing the cutscenes for them. I will just uh, laser beam these things to death. They get insta killed by the bolt beam because they are weak to electricity from memory, and that should be an electricity elemental attack. More heavy shields. That one apparently doesn't exist. And now we are heading outwards. Sandwich. I want to see what GP Rain does. Okay, it's. A good wipe one, so that's Giltos. Which means I do have to be a little bit uh, careful to not burn through my uh, magics. Alright, we've got a forest, which here. Which has got a bunch of things here. Oh, we'll just health up, tools up, auto crossbow, and attack. So, Law and GP Rain is an interesting combo for Runner. It has potential for a lot of explosive damage. 
when I get some more laws. And given that I've picked up a few laws, I guess I can get them from pretty much wherever. Oh, Mithril Blade. And a bunch of GP. So I'm guessing Ramla does not have to be in the party, which is nice. Uh, anything in here? It's off limits. Okay, fine. I like grin on that bloody bug. So now, uh, for memory, it is Haunted Forest time. So back up and up and around and across, across this bridge. Actually, that would be much better. Didn't show up on the map. We'll just fight these guys. I mean, don't need to GP rain them because I'm killing them in one shot anyway. Now, before entering the famous haunted woods, and with the uh, section at the end that I definitely want to see. This is a lot more jaunty. Oh, recovery spring. Nice. Does that recover? Lovely. It was recovered, right? Yep. A lot more jaunty than I feel like a haunted woods should have. Oh, and there are indeed enemies here. Oh, more undead things. Cool. Hmm, I wonder if there's a reflect damage. Oh, no, the undead ones, I think, have, uh, like, inbuilt poison on them. So that will automatically re take, start taking reduced damage. We should still get the, like, awesome cutscene with this. Okay, the haunted train. With its encounters. Alright, well, these things are just terrifying. They... <laughs> yeah. With their bling chain. Alright, he did. There's also no uh, actual music track kicked up yet. It's... Can't leave the train right now. Alright. Can I go out this way? No. There. Nope, go try all the exits. And the bug has a little bit of a freak out. So there would be a bunch of uh, cutscene there. Double diggles. Crossbow and then fight. So now we do have music and I guess it is fitting for a haunted train. I'm not sure where this one comes from. It feels like it is um, there's a track in Digimon World that it actually reminds me of. Okay, I didn't get killed off. Oh, it can vanish. Cool. Did not realize the enemies could do that. Now, I wonder if Auto Crossbow ignores vanish status. So this is just going to be fun. So let's wait until it, um, Stops being invisible. Let's see if magic can hit it. <laughs> Clean sweep. That looks pretty good. And it does hit it. Alright, that's going to be annoying if they continue vanishing. Alright, we've got the end. What is it? Seems to want to come with us. Yeah, we'll bring the doggo along with us. So I guess all the spirits have uh, been changed into doggos. Be these time schedules? Hmm, they're all blank. Impresario, the phantom train guides the departed ones to the spirit world. They have no need of schedules. Impresario, I manage this train. What business do you have here? All right, how do we stop it? Just use the controls in the engineer's department. Cool. So I guess we've got to make our way all the way to the engineer's compartment, which is going to be at the front of the train. Alright. Oh, okay. So our mysterious doggo has jump, is floating, and has sword ticks. Looks like he's going to be very useful. Normally the phantoms that you can get here from memory are kind of like whatever. They're just a little bit of... Um, HP sponge. 
He might be a little bit slow though. So I guess we make our way all the way through the train, or do we go up on the to the roof here? Won't open, so we can't go out that way. And all these ghost doggos. Some of them are useful. Some of them are, are fights, though. And that doggo has definitely got some statuses on him by default. So, no idea what he's got equipped that uh, is causing that, but not going to complain. Unless it's slow, that's all good. So we're going to ignore all these guys, except when they get in our way. Alright, that doggo has got two weapons equipped. He is going to be so good. Okay. I exited there after the fight, and now there's a disturbing number of dogs here. No escape. Okay, yes, cool. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's uh, <laughs> slightly creepy. Especially since I, I'm not a... Okay, that bomb did damage. Not a huge fan of dogs. <laughs> Always uh, been a little scary for me with doggos. Alright, we'll jump over and escape from the, that terrifying lot. Now there's a switch here. No. Nope. Right. Overmind. Actually, you know, I can use jump to be able to heal with him. Because I feel, I'm not entirely sure, but that dog might be counted as undead. So if I use the health on everyone else, that would mean he gets damaged, but because, yes, food, food, bring me everything you got. A bug gets fed by some dogs. Are you going to be okay if we eat this? Worried? Can't wage war in an empty stomach. Yes, but are you actually sure it's af proper food? Uh, um, wouldn't have hear any more of this kind of talk. I mean, it could be... Alright, we'll put full heal anyway. It could be poison food or, you know, just ghost or fey food, which actually doesn't fulfill human needs. Given this is a ghost train, everyone is supposed to be departed souls and all that. Onwards. Uh, can I not go through this way? I guess I have to go to round. Around like this. And back in there, because there was a treasure chest. Harvesters. So I don't need to use any heals. And we just attack it. And I will take that. A drill. Alright, cool. That's another sword tech for, um, not Ramla, Edward to use. Nothing in here. I know there are some, I guess, extra fights in there, I think. But let's get through the, uh, to it. Alright, so our doggo friend, who has been such a overpowered help for this, now leaves. But that's fine, it's not like we critically needed him. Blaze is annoying. It is actually half decent damage. Again, no. Oh, it can hit one person. It just moves one. Alright, what's written here? Shut the first and third pressure valves, and then operate the switch outside. First and third. So that one needs to be up. And there should be a boss here. Ghost train. Alright. Let's go. 
Uh, alright. Don't know what that was, but you managed to do yourself a lot of damage. Drill should be really good, and we will... GP rain you. Oh, okay, you're dead anyway. Never mind. Well, thank you, uh, boss, for just suiciding yourself there with that 1300 damage to yourself that I didn't even need. Poison rod. Okay. Unfortunately, we do not get to see the animation of suplexing the train. Wait for Rumna. And now we're out of there. Alright, can anyone equip that poison rod? Nope. Yes. It's better power. Anything else? Nope. Right, now we have another, I guess, go here. There's a cave. There's a suspicious light spot. Baron Falls. Oh, okay. Now this is where I think that fish boss from last time was. Why not? Yes, let's jump. The piranhas. Okay, we still get the piranhas. Alright, well, uh, we're on full HP currently. Oh, we've lost our uh, tools user. No Edward. That's fine. These two will be perfectly capable of dealing with it. So we're just uh, floating down the river. Having an incredibly long jump down the waterfall. That crystal is very defensive. Oh, he is in the back row. GP rain! If there's more than two, I'll do GP rain. Otherwise, it's just regular attacks. And this fight has a lot of these little piranhas in it. Let's see, you're dead. Ramna is not particularly fast. Yugi's definitely getting more attacks in than Ramna is. There you are. Let's see who's going to get their ATB charged first. It is... Yep, Yugi. Alright, GP Rain, you. And here's the boss, the Rizopus. Fight. Yom. Eh, it was not that dangerous. Ice, not that bad. We should be trying to just whack it. Yeah, even in the front row he's not getting much damage. Wouldn't mind a weapon upgrade for Yugi though. I don't think he's gotten... An... Okay, that must have been the effect of the poison rod. It did like an extra bit of poison damage or something. It looked like blood magic to be honest. A Kadachi, okay, we've got that already. Oh, Bakura. We've got three Yugi no character names in this. I have no idea who that character sprite's supposed to be. Uh, oh, that's Gao. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is Gao. Yeah, it's Gao. Alright, skills. Bakura? You've got sword text as well. I've got a few people with that. And what can you be equipped with? Flails and mithril rods as well. Ooh, you've got gold shield. That's an upgrade. Nothing in your relics. Let's have our walking crystal. <laughs> Just waggling across the planes. Alright, so Gal normally has... Oh, he's got steel. So Gao's gimmick's completely gone. Normally he can essentially jump here in on the planes and then um, learns morphs or rages. What's your attack like? Half decent. But it's nice having a steel person. All right, we've got a, a uh, town here. Mobblers. Oh, wait, we came from Baron Falls. Yep, we are awesome. Let us tell us that the war has broken out. Yep. They got a good postal surface. I'll give them that. And anything good here. Mithril shields, that's an upgrade. Headbands might be an upgrade. 
Sucro. Well, I'll buy new stuff. And then in our weapons, what have we got? Mithril knife. No one. That's not an upgrade, but it's, a, it's sort of an upgrade. Kotetsu, only one person can equip that. No one can equip metal knuckles. So we're supposed to already have the sprint effect on anyway, which I guess we do. Item shop. Ooh, please have Phoenix Downs. No, you do not. I'm getting so many auto crossbows. Green cherry. Oh, cures imp status. I wonder if that was like cucumber or something. Oh shit, I did not realize how expensive those tents were. Whoopsies. Because uh, in folklore, cappers really like their cucumbers. So now we need to go south for our Serpent's Trench. Alright, found a hole in the mountains here. And by that logic, it must mean that this is the right way. Oh, is this, I remember this. We've got to use Gal to find spots. And eventually one of the spots will lead us to the next area. Alright, we've got an eye drop. This... This is Sir Bakura's treasure. <laughs> nope. So there's like a few spots in here that you can get random stuff. But you're, I guess, supposed to be finding his treasure. Alright, this looks like the right way. Yep. Oh, this is 12 music. 12 music, but through SNES music filter. Alright, Acteons. Let's fight you guys. See if I can steal. And, uh, just see how it goes. Uh, they're not too bad. The living, weird coral creatures. Without thief boosting accessories, I think steel's gonna be pretty uh, low accuracy. Which is a little annoying. I just want to see what they have. They probably have nothing of good interest, given you're not supposed to have a thief for this section. <coughs> I don't trust the water. Oh, well, I had to hit it that anyway. Good thing I didn't trust the water. Alright, down the hole. Fire rod. I think I'll stick with the poison rod. I doubt they've got much of a difference in the power. Let's see. And continuing onwards. Yeah, I think this is what these sections are a little bit why I wasn't a huge of a fan of six. It's like they do they're just a little annoying, I guess. Alright, what the hell is that? That was a weird sprite. So we're in Nakia. No one can reach Nakia unless they have a ship. Well, we just swam under the ocean. You met the old man who lives near the Leith River? His wife bore him a son 13 years ago. <laughs> okay, so that's Gal's dad. Yo ho, handsome thing. How about joining me, Tiki? <laughs> okay. The expressions on the crystal. <laughs> okay, the, the transformations of Ramna as a crystal into I don't know what that is to express his emotions is hilarious. I was not even paying attention to that dialogue. <laughs> And the smugness of that bug. But we've reached a new town, and that I think about wraps it up for this episode. Until next time, though, this is Type This Out, and have a good day, guys. Bye!